This video was brought to you by Frank and Drift Casino. If you're interested, check out the links in the description box down below. Okay, let's begin. A discussion about cursed and haunted places would bring an obvious number of reactions, as some would be in favor while others would dispute the thought. But then humans are made of very curious minds. No one would mind taking a trip down the ghost world to verify their existence. Today we look at 5 cursed villages around the world. 5. Benga Fort This is a fort in India, built in the 17th century. Viewing the place from a higher angle seems like everything was normal yesterday, but then today life is on a standstill. The history of the fort is narrated in reference to two legends. One version recounts a wizard by the name of N.K. Sinha, who was proficient in black magic, falling in love with the beautiful princess Ratnavi, which was a princess of Bengar. The princess had many other suitors from the country's royal families. One day the princess at the age of 18 left for the market with her friends to purchase etar, which is a perfume. The wizard realized this and replaced the perfume with a love potion that would entrap the princess. The wizard therefore attempted to offer her the potion so that the princess would feel affection towards him and marry him. The princess however learned of his intentions and upon receiving the bowl of potion, she threw it away onto a nearby big slab, making the slab roll down towards the wizard, crashing him as a result. Before he had his last breath, the wizard cursed Bangar. He said the place would face its own destruction soon and no one would be able to live within its own division. Subsequently, Mughals from the north attacked Bangar. With a population estimation of 10,000, killed everyone in it, the princess included. The ghosts believed to haunt the place are that of the princess and the wizard. Another version of this legend is that a holy man by the name of Baba Balak Nath lived within a division. He commanded that no one based within the division is allowed to build a house taller than his own, and if a show of such a house fell on his, then the town would be destroyed. Just by making an entrance through the main gate, one can see palaces and temples, which are true evidence that there once was life within the walls. There is also a notice that no one is allowed within the division at night, reason being anyone who has been inside past the time limit has never been found. 4. Yarumal Yarumal is a Colombian village founded in the year 1787, famous for all the wrong reasons. Most of its residents have dementia by the age of 40. Dementia is a mental disorder caused by an injury or disease of the brain and is marked by impaired reasoning, memory disorders, and personality changes. Locals call the disease la bobera, which means the foolishness. The Yarumal curse is afflicted through genetic mutation, thought to have come from Spanish conquistador. The curse is also afflicted through marriages within the family. These two make it hard for the curse to be controlled. Doctors say that 5,000 people in the village are at risk due to genetic mutation inherent within them. It exposes them to an early onset of Alzheimer's, a mental damage that occur in middle age or old age due to degeneration of the brain tissue, commonly causing premature senility. A research was carried on the residents of Yudamal on the attempt of getting to know how the mutation first appeared. Blood samples were collected and their genomes, the complete set of genes present in a cell, were sequenced. The mutation that causes Yumara form of Alzheimer's was found in 74 out of 102 participants. The team also conducted an analysis on how the people who participated were related. The analysis was concluded suggesting that the mutation emerged from a conquistador around 375 years ago. The very initial mutation has been traced back to the 17th century in Spain. It is very hard to explain the reason why all these Yarumal residents would share a long string of DNA if there hadn't been a common founder. 3. Bala, Oman Bala, one of Oman's oldest oasis towns, once the capital of the Sultanate, is rumored to be home to many myths of magic. A mysterious aurora surrounds the walled town, proof that magic is still practiced within its environments. One of the well-known myths of magic within this town is the existence of jinns, literally black magic or genies in English, a reputation that predates Islam. They are believed to reside within the palm groves and empty houses made of stone within the city center. Jinns are known to be spirits possessing the human body, which then becomes a medium for them to express their grievances. 
They finally destroy it by making the persons possessed suffer till death. Christians believe that through intense and continuous prayers directed to the host body, the jinns usually communicate the reason for dominating the human body. Also through prayers, they are compelled to leave the body. Bala is also home to another type of magic, known as creation magic. These include pottery and copper artifacts. Omani Bala potters are believed to have magic in their fingers that make certain creations that adorn many homes in Oman and abroad. A recent research arrived at a conclusion that not so many Omanis believe in the existence of jinns or any kind of magic in Bala. They say it's superstition. Some, on the other hand, do believe in the existence of black magic in the area. A number of far-fetched stories about magic in this area were realized during the research. These included people being bewitched, turning into goats or cows, and then ended up being enslaved. There are also stories of people being haunted by spirits or disappearing while leaning on some certain fences or wall posts, or while standing in cursed places. 2. Cinco Saltos, aka the City of Magic Cinco Saltos plainly means five waterfalls, with respect to the five steps that start from the surrounding canal and Enginero Ballester Dam found in the area. This land first saw its settlers in 1914. It is located in the province of Rio Negro, Argentina. The town is also known as the City of Witches due to witchcraft practices. There is an area found within Cinco Saltos that goes by the name of Bajo Negro, very popular for many of its people practicing black magic. It is said that this place receives very minimal or no sunlight at all for a whole of each year. Due to this, a myth has it that witches would gather to perform many occult rituals. There have also been situations where a large number of people are seen engaging in very unusual activities or a group of people dressed oddly in long black cloaks. This however has not been authenticated as there is no proof of sightings of these group of people in photographs. However, there exist some very convincing ghostly stories that do have some truth in them as they have been documented through various platforms. For instance, in 2009, an entire corpse of a girl aged between 8 to 12 years old who is believed to have died in the 1930s, barely decomposed, was found in a cemetery ossuary. The body was chained and mummified. Another is of a baby who drowned in the Pellegrini Lake that runs through the town. Cries of a baby have reportedly been heard by visitors and passerby, but it has never been proven where these cries are coming from. The locals conclude that the baby has not yet found peace and therefore seeks comfort in the land of the living. 1. Barahak This is a former village in the town of Ponford, Connecticut, said to have been founded in 1780 or 1790 by Obadiah Higginbotham and John Randall, Welsh settlers together with their families. The settlement's name, Barahak, is a Welsh term, plainly meaning breaking of the bread. The name is associated with Harry Chase, a local Pomfret historian. There exists no events of the town founders naming the settlement Barahak. The community was deserted by 1890, possibly before the Civil War. A number of visitors have gone to see the place, recording very strange experiences from their visit. One of such occurrences is where a group of Rhode Island parapsychology students visited Barahak on August 30th, 1971, together with a group of investigators looking for evidence to find out whether the rumors of its hauntings were true or false. Accompanied with Harry Chase, they had a number of experiences. They had a feeling of depression while entering the vicinity, barking of dogs, an absolute absence of birds, strange human voices, and cows lowing. They explored the area for a couple of hours and came back at night. They then heard a couple of voices coming out of Nightingale Brook. They went back to the area on October 30th and 31st, same year with more investigators. This time, they lost their way towards the burying ground even though they had been there before. One of the members became stuck in one spot and could not be physically moved towards the direction of the location of the cemetery. These were written by one of the investigators in a book called Faces of the Window by Paul F. Eno in 1998. Modern visitors is said to have heard sounds, they describe it as sounds of long gone settlement. From the noises of children playing, people singing to sounds of livestock, the rumble of wagon wheels has also been said to have been heard. Others have claimed to have seen spirit of a child and ghosts of men with grown beards. A more recent development is that this place has been marked as a private property, with no trespassing signs warnings to visitors. The area is very closely watched. For one to visit, he or she must get permission from the owner. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you're interested, check out the links of Frank and Drift Casino. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching our videos once again. Take care.